but I think it's helpful to use like an analogy, right? Parametric knowledge, contextual knowledge, awesome. But what does this actually mean? And how can I think about what a good RAG output might, might look like? And I think a log cabin is like a pretty good example. So a log cabin, you know, not the most complex thing in the world. You, you got a bunch of logs. You need to know how to stack them. You need to know how to put pieces of wood in as the roof, create a bunch of angles, put a door on it. Sort of a, a reasonable synthesis problem. Um, and you might think of the knowledge that's required to put the components together as parametric knowledge. And the logs themselves, you could consider as constituting the basis of the entire cabin could be considered contextual knowledge. Without these, the right logs, the, you know, the whole structure kind of falls apart. But knowing how to put it together and having it be a reasonably well-scoped problem, that's also very important. Worth calling out, we're not building like this massive, you know, billion, million dollar mansion with these logs. We're not asking the LLM to go way outside the bounds of what we're aware its parametric knowledge is capable of. We're kind of giving it this scoped down, reasonable task of putting together logs in a rather simple way. I think this is one of the key bits of kind of getting out of customer demos into the world of solving real problems is understanding that at an executive brief level, maybe we talk about AI revolutionizing everything, but practically when you scope down responsibilities to very specific tasks, it's much easier to build a repeatable system. And it's much easier to get something that doesn't go way off course or produces unexpected results. Hybrid search is another example of improving your search problem with metadata. So there's been some, I would say, anecdotal evidence of this more in the search community around keyword search still being relevant for large amounts of text data, where maybe you have a full page from that software book and embeddings over a, a smaller scope of that data, particularly because there's, more, there's only a few embedding models that can capture like thousands of tokens. Most of the lower dimensionality ones are on a few hundreds of tokens. So there's like a number of considerations why you might represent relevance at different levels and then jointly consider these uh, when you want to get back, say, the most relevant page across a library of content. Another, again, somewhat obvious but not often discussed way of building additional proxies for relevance is feedback, right? We deal with search systems all the time. When you go to Amazon and you're searching something, how often you're scrolling through things and clicking on things is considered in your search results. But when we talk about RAG systems, we often think of RLHF, where we're tuning the model weights and letting the model provider figure out how to take that feedback. You can also do that yourself. You can incorporate within your chatbot system citations to the documents that are referenced and allow people to vote on those. This is a good document. This helped me. This is not a good document. Why did you show this to me? And consider those within your joint score in a similar way that you could consider key keyword search. I sort of think like we're in the early days of like feedback based drag systems. Like it's very much content based today. So I'm very excited for how data modeling incorporates that and kind of improves again, the relevance of the results you're giving to the model.